Yo guys, this is Claudio Barba, motion designer from Brussels, Belgium. Today I'm going to show you how to do a velocity edit. What's a velocity edit? Well, let's say you receive a footage from somebody and you need to put it together with some music you have. But it doesn't feel good together. You need, you need to add the, the, the speed, the velocity of the uh, video to the beat of the music. This is what we are going to do today. On the bottom right corner you see the final result here and uh, you don't need any external plugin just after effects okay so let's jump into after effects and see how this is done okay we are in after effects so first of all let's import our footage um, i have chosen a nice uh, video from pexels.com and i have some music so let's import them So let's create a um, composition, 10-12 seconds, just for the demo, like that, okay, and let's import the video and the music into the composition. After that, uh, press L on the uh, music and let's expand the waveform so that we can see more or less where is where are the beats. Uh, we will put some um, some uh, markers on the on the on the composition so that we know more or less where we need to position our keyframes. But we will need to listen to the to the music. So let's see, and we will press uh, the star button on the keyboard to set the keyframes while listening. So let's see. Okay, that's more than enough for our demo. Uh, now, what we do is um, we'll select the video. And we will add a time warp effect. It's a standard uh, effect in uh, your After Effects. So let's drag, the, drag it over the video. And now we position ourselves more or less on the on the market that we have set. And we will expand. Uh, no, not yet. But we can just set the first keyframe on the speed on the on the time warp effect. Uh, on the market, uh, we will set the speed to something very high, something like 300. We can set a keyframe. Uh, then we will press U on the keyboard to reveal the, the keyframe on the timeline. And then we move some keyframes before and we will set the speed to uh, 20. Okay. And now we will have to repeat more or less uh, the same uh, uh, two keyframes for the other markers. So we can just select them, copy them, and paste them. Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl V to paste them for the other um, keyframes, for the other markers, the other beats of the music. We can still fine-tune afterwards. We select all the keyframes and we press F9 to convert them to easy ease. Uh, after that we click uh, here on the graph editor. Uh, we can uh, modify maybe a little bit the uh, handles here. So we select the top and we can drag them a little bit like that. And then the bottom ones as well. Yeah, to make yeah, you, you need to put more or less this form. Okay. Now, uh, what we will want to do, we, we can try first of all a fast visualization to see if we like it. Well, 
that is good. We can also add some on the same effect of the time warp. We can add some uh, motion blur. And what does it? It's uh, just add some motion blur. You see that on the fast movements, uh, you see that it's adding some blur here. I like to use uh, not five but maybe three so that it's a bit nice. So you can see the movement like that of the of the hands and let's see how it will render. So that's it for the for the velocity editing. We can still add some more um, effects uh, to enhance the look of uh, of the video. We can add some uh, maybe let's add the curves effect because there is not a lot of contrast on this uh, video. We can enhance uh, a little bit the contrast like that, uh, so you can see that it's immediately more interesting. And then we can we can add a vignette effect a little bit so that yeah we can we can see that it's better already. <coughs> of course, you can play with the with the keyframe of the, the of the speed of the time warp effect to modify the velocity. Uh, it's uh, it's really uh, depending on your own taste and what you want to achieve. But that's the base. I mean, it's very easy. We can really use just internal plugins in uh, After Effects. No need to, to buy or use uh, external plugins that does the same thing as what you have uh, already. Any question you have, uh, just uh, put them in the comments below. If you think that this video was interesting, you can maybe subscribe to my channel. I am publishing uh, videos more or less once uh, a week with different tips uh, and tricks for After Effects. I am a freelance motion designer based in Brussels, Belgium, and I am also a plugin and script developer for After Effects. So yeah, this is more or less what you will find on my channel. So thank you very much for listening to me. Have fun with this velocity editing and see you soon. Bye.